Hey, what's up guys, it's Dark Arm Duels, and today we just got two new Fiendsmith cards. So without further ado, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell in there so you can come part of the notification squad, and definitely check out the Patreon down in the description below for all those awesome rewards. So without further ado, let's go ahead and check out these new awesome cards. So we actually have a new fusion monster and a new trap card coming out for Fiendsmith that are both coming out in Supreme Darkness. But let's go ahead and check out and see what these cards actually do so for our new fusion this card is called fiendsmith's rex tremendous and it's a level 9 light fiend fusion effect monster that has 3,000 attack points and 3600 defense points that is massive for the attack and defense points so this card might actually be the final fiendsmith fusion monster because this card is so massive on its attack and defense points plus we now have three fusions and the three link monsters for fiendsmith which is really interesting but this card's materials is that it requires a fiendsmith fusion monster plus a fusion or a link monster which is actually really interesting because currently we only have desiree in the tcg because lacrima is actually banned in the tcg and in the ocg fiendsmith and fiendsmith track are both limited so this card is going to be fairly difficult to actually make and this card has the effect that you can only use the first or third effect of this card's name each once per turn. And for its first effect, if this card is fusion summoned, you can discard a card to send a light fiend monster from your deck or your extra deck to the graveyard, which is an interesting ability to instantly get a fiend monster that's light into the graveyard. And it's a really cool effect as well to get the exact monsters you want in the graveyard. It kind of reminds me of Aerial Eater a little bit, but we do have Aerial Eater in the TCG, but that card is currently a TCG exclusive. For its second effect, it's unaffected by non-Fiendsmith card effects while equipped with a Fiendsmith equip spell. And all the Link monsters usually can just equip themselves for the Fiendsmith cards can actually equip themselves to the Fusion monsters, which is really interesting. So this card could get some really insane stats and be huge as well, on top of just being unaffected. We then also have for the third effect, if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can actually target one other Fiendsmith card in in your graveyard or banishment and add it to your hand which is a pretty cool effect to help you recover the exact card you need like a copy of one of your spells or traps or even recover one of your other one ofs that you want to get back but this card is really cool overall I absolutely love the artwork where you see both of them actually working together with this huge, really cool, like almost like sniper, which is just really amazing. So for the other card, we have Fiendsmith's Kyrie, and this card is actually really cool. You can only use the second effect of this card's name once per turn. Then the first effect this turn, your light fiend monsters cannot be destroyed by battle, and also any battle damage you take is halved, which is a really interesting effect. Nothing really crazy for this effect, but for the second effect, it lets you fuse summon by banishing cards from your graveyard you can fusion summon a fiendsmith fusion monster from your x check using monsters you control as a material but you can also use monsters in your spell and trap card zone equipped to a fiendsmith monster as an equip spell which is a great effect to be able to use and i love that about this card that you can actually use your back row fiendsmith to be able to go into the a fusion play which is really cool Overall, these cards are really cool. I love the artwork of them both. They look so cool. They look amazing. But I feel like these are, like, okay overall. I feel like the trap card is okay. But the actual, like, big fusion monster, when you start equipping the link monsters to this card, it's going to be insane. And also, it helps you get your link monsters into the graveyard with its first effect, which is really nice because you can discard a card and then send a light fiend monster from your deck or extract to the graveyard, which is a really cool effect to help you get the exact monster you want, which is really nice usually probably gonna be like the link three is probably what you're gonna use with this maybe there's some other strategies with this card but i feel like that's gonna be one of the best ways to play with this card but it's really cool overall and i love the artwork of these cards but it's just really interesting that they would limit the both the fiendsmith and fiendsmith track in the ocg and then about a week later they announce more support for fiendsmith because it's that powerful of an engine and then tcg we also have the fusion monster ban outside of desiree desiree still we can play with that one but we cannot play with Lacrima, which is a little bit weird and going to be very interesting moving forward with cards like this because it does require a Fiendsmith Fusion Monster. So you're going to have to use Desiree in the TCG to be able to make this card. And I feel like Desiree is just a little bit better because it's actually a negate where this card isn't. So that's going to be this one, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, 
hit the bell in there so you can come for our notification squad and definitely tell me what you think of these cards down in the comments down below i think they're really interesting and i think it's really cool that we're actually still getting fiendsmith support because it's really cool but this might be the last wave of fiendsmith support with the most recent hits on the list so that's good for this one guys don't forget to like comment subscribe hit the bell in there so you can come for our notification squad and we'll see you guys in the next video see you later guys